Some people have natural talents. They are naturals, naturals at sports, naturals at filmmaking even, or maybe they're naturals at music. And then some people have none of those talents, but they love it anyways. And so it brings us to the topic of this film, which is a Strad style. And I've got the filmmaker here with me right now. Stefan, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. So tell us a little bit about what Strad style is because I know I'm gonna butcher it otherwise. <laughs> well, it's a movie. Uh, it's a movie about this very unlikely uh, guy out in the middle of nowhere, rural Ohio, um, who uh, you know you you would think he's kind of a NASCAR loving kind of you know good old boy, but in fact he is obsessed with uh, classical violins, violin music, and uh, and making violins. And um, via the internet, he uh, he and he's not formally trained in any way. Uh, but via the internet, he convinces this world-famous uh, European concert violinist that he can make a copy, a very good copy, of basically the most famous and valuable violin in the world. Um, and uh, and then the, and this movie follows his trials and travails as he attempts to do this. Uh, yeah, as they say, and then the plot thickens, or, or then, you know, uh, the story is really interesting. Now, now, what I noticed when I was watching this film is... At the beginning, you're just like, this guy's nuts. This guy's <laughs> absolutely nuts. Tell me about this journey that you went on making this film. Well, it was interesting because actually um, I had been working on a documentary uh, about violins and sort of the obsession obsession with violins. Uh, but it was a very broad documentary. It was obsessions with like violinists or uh, scientists trying to figure out what is the secret of these old violins. Is there a secret? Thieves who are stealing them, counterfeiters. It was a very broad movie. And I had heard about this guy uh, through the grapevine, and um, that you know there's this kind of like this this wacky dude in Ohio that was completely obsessed. He had you know he had tattoos of violin makers and famous violinists on his body, and he was doing this candle magic in the barn and all this stuff. So I I thought that might be a kind of fun little diversion you know in the movie. Uh, uh, so I when, I when I trekked out there, like I said, the middle of nowhere. When I went out there, you know, I interviewed him for a half an hour or so. I realized, okay, I, I got to just put this other movie aside. <laughs> this guy is the movie um, because he's just so entertaining. He's so unexpected, you know, not what what I expected at all. And he's also really smart, very funny. Um, I mean, the first impression is this guy is crazy. Uh, and indeed he is, but <laughs> but he's also uh, quite a talent. He, he is an amazing talent. Uh, and he's very entertaining, he's funny, and, and so he made for an amazing subject, and also just just this complete fish out of water sort of guy, so uh, that was that was my intrigue. Well, now the film is playing uh, Slam Dance, I believe it's on Saturday the 21st. Can you tell us a bit when all the screenings are, where they are, are you gonna be there, all the good juicy information? Yeah, I will be there, I will be there uh, for the duration, as will Danny. Uh, who is the who is the subject of this movie? Uh, Daniel Hauk, and we also um, I, I'm not going to say too much, but you, you know, it might be able. To, we're also we also have a, a major surprise that's going to be happening um, at the second screening, which is the 24th, um, and then shortly thereafter. So uh, I would say the first screening, which is the 21st, um, which is in the nice in the big room, and then the 24th we have our second screening uh, at. Um, 12:45, and uh, that's in the gallery. And uh, like I said, we have a, a, a really special, um, really special surprise for that one. So. Fantastic. Now, if you've never been to Slam Dance before, everybody, it's up at the Treasure Mountain Inn. Uh, the big room is the one that you go in right through the lobby. It's straight across the, from the lobby. And then the gallery is just down the hall and then to your left. So it's all really close together. You're not trekking all over the place to go see a film. And you get to be inside where it's warm, where everyone else has to be freezing outside. So it's a really good thing to go to Slam Dance. Now, if you guys want to find out more about the great films that are happening, here at Slam Dance. I want you guys to come over to filmbuzz.tv or just come back here again to the Daily Herald and we'll keep on giving you all the information that's happening up in this crazy festival up in Park City. See you guys real soon.